Hello again YouTube. Today I'm going to be doing a comparison between my 2 gigabyte RAM and the one I will be installing a maxed out 8 gigabyte RAM. Now this is a late 2009 unibody MacBook. Just recently got it. It's pretty fancy. Uh, I usually don't get MacBooks based on the price. But I'm just going to be showing you guys, surfing around, showing you different things. How long it's going to take in between each of them and then shoe a comparison so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go to youtube and just time how long this takes there we go it's still loading up there in the corner i don't know what it's loading there it goes all right so that would be YouTube. Now we can type in something. Let's just do a how to. Right, that wasn't too bad. Alright, I'll try a new website. I'll go to. Let's do Yahoo Mail. That didn't take long at all. What about a new tab? YouTube again. All right. And Yahoo. All right. So that's going to be my before. This is running two gigabytes of RAM, and I'll be doing it again on maxed out 8 gigabytes of RAM. Alright, so I just switched out the RAM and if you want to know how to do that I will go ahead and put a link so you can do that right here. Anyway, that is how to do it if you do not know how to do it, but here's the difference. Now uh, I went to YouTube. Let's try that again. And there it goes, that's the loading time for that. Then I went to Yahoo. And the load for that. Open up a new tab. Go back to YouTube. There it goes. Yahoo. Let's, let's go. Go back to YouTube. Let's do the how to. And there it is. That's just a quick reference guide on what your day to day activity is going to be like when you switch from 2 to 8 gigabytes of RAM.